Hey, what's going on everyone? So, I'm living life, I'm eating beans, happy as all, and I got a bomb dropped on me out of nowhere, so I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked. Isaac comes up to me, he's like, hey, I'm moving, you have a week pretty much to get out. <laughs> I was like, okay, we can do this, that's cool. But I also was like, he, he said he wanted to sell the RV. And little does he know, little does he know, he's living with the Flip King. So I was like, Isaac, I'll help you sell your RV. What do you want to get for it? And he's like, I don't know, man. My grandma bought this for like five grand, four or five years ago. I'd like to at least get five grand for it. I was like, Isaac, my man, I got you. So here's what happened. So um, flipping. Got a couple people lined up for 8,000. I think I actually lined up someone for even 8,500. The MSRP for this thing's like 6,500. <laughs> like sold it for eight. And just like a random person likely bought it? Yeah. They come and Isaac doesn't have the title. Hello? Hey Isaac. Um, What's up, they're good for 12 tomorrow if that works for you. Okay. If they're gonna try to lo like lower it, they're gonna go from 8,000 to either 7,500 or 7,000 if they try to lower it. And when I get there, I was like, hey, Isaac, let me handle all the negotiations, all the numbers. Like, I will handle all that. You just show them the RV. So he's like freaking out. He's all stressed out about it because the people are a little pissed off. They're like, dude, you said you had the title. We apologize. Like, hey, I'm really sorry. Like, his grandma has it. Uh, we don't know what we're doing. Neither of us have ever done this before, so <laughs> I'm really sorry. So I walk away for <laughs> two seconds. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll just take 7000 for it. Um, and you guys can just pay 2000 right now. And all of a sudden I hear Isaac go, who was like, hey, I'm so sorry, we'll do 7,000. I was like, no, Isaac, what are you doing? He didn't have to do that, but he ended up saying that. So he actually ended up selling it for 7,000. They took the RV away. We got $7,000 in cash, which is the most money I've ever held in my hand ever. Got 7,000 in cash right here. This is the most money I've ever held. But it was super cool because that was like a really great way for me to, I guess, end living with Isaac. I felt good about it because he helped me out so much and I was able to sell his RV for him for $2,000 more than he was looking for. Um, and he was super happy about it. By the way, uh, the last day in the RV wasn't great. I accidentally killed my friend. All right, back at the RV, we're cooking up some dinner, baby. Got some pasta boiling and uh, my buddy's here. There he is, my little friend. I'm gonna miss you, man. Oh. He's running. We started off as enemies, if you guys remember. There's a fucking like salamander lizard thing in my fucking clothes. That thing is like hanging out. Oh, what do I do? Are these things poisonous? Like I don't even know what the fuck to do. My last night in the RV, this happened. Show off. This is your this is your time to shine on camera. How do I help this guy out? He's clearly stuck in the tub. I got I gotta help this this little dude find his way. That's what that's what good friends do. Come here, lizard, lizard guy. There's the bag. Come in the bag. Yes, he got in the bag. Ah, oh, he was under the bag. Get in your home, lizard man. Get in. Don't go down the. No! He went down the drain! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm actually upset right now. Is he. I actually feel really bad. I really wish I didn't do that. I think I killed Lizard Man. It was a very bad way to end my last night in the RV. I'm still upset about it, but I think he's maybe in a better place now. <laughs> so I sold the RV, but the next problem was now I don't have a place to live, like legitimately. I looked on Facebook Marketplace, I looked on Craigslist, messaging a lot of people. And what was important for me is I needed to, one, find somewhere that was really close to the office, and then two, I needed to find something that was really cheap. I'm gonna do a room, room only, because I don't want a whole place. I cannot sign a year lease, I cannot do a relet, I have to find a sublet. So like, I need to find a private person to do a deal with, because my credit score is assumptionally bad, right? I'm gonna spend an hour right now and just message people on Craigslist and then I'll get back to you guys when I find some cool stuff. I found a couple cool places. One of them was a place on Airbnb. This is like my backup plan. It was like 450 bucks a month. It was this shared room with four bunk beds. Ooh, 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was like, yeah, you know, that's good. It's affordable. And it's within a 20 minute bus ride to and from the office, but I prefer not to get COVID. We have a backup. We have a backup plan. Nothing, all else fails. We got a backup. I kept looking and I messaged someone who lived 1.2 miles away from the office space and it was $350 a month. Now I still do have to share a room, but this place looked really awesome. I wanted to check it out and it was actually way cooler than I originally thought. I was a little nervous because there was no photos of the place. I was like, this could be a scam. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a total dump. Ends up being like pretty decent and they even have a gym in the backyard. They have a squat rack, they have a bench, they have an Olympic bar, like they have everything needed to work out. I cannot believe I found this place. $350 a month. No, I could still lift more than Mankata. I could still lift more than Mankata. My autofocus is going to Mankata's muscles. Oh. <laughs> I now have a kitchen. I now have a big fridge. I have a, a stove that I can cook with. I have a, an oven. And most importantly, 1.2 miles away from the office. So I don't have to commute with the bus anymore, which is amazing because I just took about a three hour round trip commute and turned it into about, we'll call it a 40 minute commute right now. I just need to buy a bike and then it'll be a 20 minute commute per day round trip. Now here's the problem though. I think I flipped the RV on Wednesday and my lease didn't start until Saturday. So in between there, they drove off with the RV. I don't have a place to live. So I had to sleep at the office. First time I ever did that. I'm curious if any of you have ever slept at the office. If you have, let me know in the comments, I'm curious. Didn't have to commute, didn't have to do all that crazy stuff. I just woke up and got at it. Oh, you guys wasting all this time commuting in the office. You got a great couch. We got option number one, leather. Option number two, we got a nice little texture here, get a little pillow, not a bad option. Then we got option three, can't even see it. Look at that, covert. Can't even see it, it's so dark. Oh, covert, covert. On Friday, I was able to go and move into my new place, so it was super awesome. And uh, this is so huge. Like, I cannot tell you how big of a deal this is. I was commuting three hours, three hours a day round trip. Now, I don't have to do that. I don't have to wait for the bus. I don't have to be on the bus's schedule and leave at 9.30 every night. I can leave whenever I want. I can work as late as I want. It's a really big deal because I have a lot more time now to, like I said, spend on my business. So like I said, this week was crazy with the MDC stuff because we really didn't have a lot of footage to work with, but we got a lot done and now I don't have to commute. This is huge, I'm so excited. And lastly, I was able to leave Isaac on a really good note. I'm definitely gonna meet up with him again and I think you guys will see him very soon on the vlog at some point when I reveal my identity to him because I still haven't done that. But I have something very fun planned. So that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button. If you wanna be notified whenever we release a new video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell.